Most people are familiar with the idea of using glucose for energy, but did you know that you can fuel your body using fats instead of carbohydrates? The process for making energy is called cellular respiration. Let's take a look at the different cellular pathways for using glucose and using fats to make energy. Using glucose for energy. When a person eats a carbohydrate rich diet, cellular respiration starts in the cell's cytoplasm with the process glycolysis, where glucose is converted into pyruvate. The pyruvate then moves into the mitochondria where it's oxidized to acetyl coenzyme A by the enzyme complex pyruvate dehydrogenase. Acetyl-CoA is the starting material for the citric acid cycle, which reduces electron carriers ready for use in the electron transport chain where the bulk of ATP is made. ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, is the molecule that provides energy to all the cells in the body. If more carbohydrates are consumed than needed, the excess glucose will first be stored as glycogen in the liver and muscles. Then, when those stores are full, excess glucose will be converted to fatty acids and stored in adipose tissue. Using fats for energy. When dietary carbohydrates are sufficiently restricted, such as when fasting or on a low carbohydrate diet, the body will start to make ketones using exogenous fat, which is the fat you eat, or endogenous fat, which is the fat stored in your adipose tissue. There are three types of ketone bodies acetoacetate, acetone, and beta-hydroxybutyrate. These molecules are commonly referred to as ketones, but chemistry enthusiasts might notice that only the first two are in fact true ketones, while the beta-hydroxybutyrate is a carboxylic acid. The process of making ketones is called ketogenesis, and it occurs mainly in the mitochondria of the liver. Fatty acid molecules are enzymatically broken down via beta oxidation to form acetyl-CoA. Then through a series of reactions, acetyl-CoA is converted to 3-hydroxy-3-methyl-glutyryl-CoA, which goes on to produce the first ketone body, acetoacetate. The acetoacetate then produces the two other ketone bodies, acetone and beta-hydroxybutyrate. The body cannot metabolize acetone, so it is expelled by the breath. The two remaining ketones, acetoacetate and beta-hydroxybutyrate, then leave the liver and are transported via the blood to other tissues throughout the body, including muscles and the brain. Unlike fatty acids, ketones are able to cross the blood-brain barrier to directly provide energy for the brain, just like glucose. Once in their target cells, the ketones are converted back into acetyl-CoA ready for use in the citric acid cycle to continue the supply of NADH and FADH2 to the electron transport chain to produce ATP. It can take several days to weeks for the body to adjust to using fat for energy, but there are many benefits to reducing carbohydrate consumption. Emerging research indicates keto adaptation has transformative disease fighting and performance enhancing effects. So why not give it a go?